we're working on our back for today. Four movements, 45 seconds each with a 15 second break. We're gonna do these four movements two times around and then you're done. All right, the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge forward from the hip. We're just gonna do reverse fly. So I want your back nice and flat, nice and long through the back of the neck, looking at the floor about three feet ahead of you. And then you're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together. You don't need to go really heavy on this because unless you're already conditioned for it, I tend to go a little lighter on my weight as I tend to have shoulder issues, okay? But make sure that you push those hips back and that you're not doing a jerking motion. I see a lot of people do this kind of a thing, okay? Keep your upper body steady by strengthening and squeezing, bracing through the abs and holding your arms. Nice job. All right, go ahead and take it up. We're just gonna do a dead row. This one, I do wanna go a little bit heavier on my weight. So I'm gonna reset my shoulders down and I'm gonna lift up my chest. Now, same kind of thing. I want you to lock those shoulder blades down and in, and then we're just gonna hinge from the hip and stand up, okay? Down and up, good. You can stand to go a bit heavier on this one, but we're not putting a very big bend in our knee, okay? We're gonna squeeze our glutes on the way up and squeeze our abs. And as you do that, you're gonna feel your lower back tighten up a bit. That's a good thing. If it starts to cramp, you're either going too deep or too heavy, okay? So listen to your body. Keep those, those abs nice and tight. And every time you stand up, I want you to pretend that you're zipping up a jacket, right? Lift up through the chest. Very nice. Okay, take one of those weights or two, again, depending on your strength, and we're gonna do a Russian deadlift. So option, make sure you take the options here if you want them, we're gonna lift and stand up, okay? So the option is, is just to bend forward and keep your toe, slide it along the floor. Option two is that you're gonna do this. I'm gonna lift the leg, okay? Just like so. So it takes a lot more balance to lift your leg up. You gotta push that heel into the floor, tighten up through the core. Woo! Good. You don't really need to take your legs any higher than hip level. You can definitely keep them lower, okay? Last one. Good job. Whew. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other side. I'm gonna shift onto the other leg. And again, every time you start, especially when we're doing back, chest, upper body work, every time you start a new exercise, I just want you to reset that posture by dropping your shoulder blades back, lifting up with the chest. You want to be able to fatigue your muscles when you're strengthening them, but you don't want the fatigue to compromise your posture and your form. If it starts to do that, then it's time to modify. And modifications are great. They're actually important. This takes a lot of focus to talk and do at the same time while I'm keeping my balance. So, Please modify this as you need to remember the modification is just slide the toe, a little more bend in the knee, but you're still bending forward. Okay, let's do it again from the top. So back to those reverse flies. I'm going to swap out for a little bit lighter weight. That's up to you. I'm going to bend the knee, hinge forward from the hip, push my hips back. A lot of times when I see this exercise being done, people are afraid to bend over. They think they need to be standing up really tall. I want your chest to be hovering over your toes, which means that your hips are back, okay? Your back is flat, nice and long through the neck. That way all the work oh, goes into that upper back. Brace your core. You're doing awesome. And then 10 more seconds. Good job, keep going. One more, one more finish. Yes, nicely done. 
Okay, next up, we're gonna do that dead row. I'm gonna swap out for some heavier weights. Do what feels good, what feels right for your body. So again, resetting that posture, drop and stand. Now for the second option, I'm gonna give you an option if you wanna add a little bit of upper back and shoulder work. You can go ahead and bring it up into an upright row. I'm gonna give you the back view, but I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades at the top. Okay, squeeze. So bend forward. You are bending your knees slightly, but only slightly. So I'm giving you all the different angles here. Okay, so you choose, use your core, tighten the core and the glutes on the way up. 10 more seconds. Stay focused. Last one. Yes. All right, here comes that uh, Russian deadlift. So again, resetting your posture. Abs in, chest up. There we go. Forward. Remember the modification. Please take it as you need it. You can also do this without weight. Okay, if you just feel like even with the modification, you're way off balance. You can do it without weight. You can do it with the assistance of a chair. If you need some extra balance, you can just hold on to the back of the chair. best way to make progress ever is to start somewhere. So if you get into this and you're like, I don't think I can do that. I'm not there yet. Then do something. Start somewhere. Okay? Woo. Yes. It's a great one for your glutes too. Just as a little bonus. All right, reset. Are you ready? By activating the glutes in that standing leg, then you are activating some of the muscles in your lower back and keeping your core nice and tight. Good. 20 more seconds. Whoa. Lift up your chest. It happens to everybody. Good. 10 more seconds. You're doing great. Sure it's falling down. Awesome. All right. That's it for this one. If you want to do more lower body, go grab another one of the lower body workouts. If you want a total body, grab an upper body workout or do some cardio.